got a real big time high tech slick feel to it. What we wanted to do was make this more of a major entertainment destination point. Big building. It's a very big building. There's something for every fan in here. But it truly is, um, you know, state of the art. Hi, I'm Devin Denny. Today we're at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. The American Airlines Center set many records when it first opened in July 2001. And one of those is that it is the single most advanced and expensive sports and entertainment venue in the United States. At an estimated cost of $420 million, this arena provides a host of resources to support a multitude of sports and entertainment events. The American Airlines Center was designed with a combination of architectural styles that were specifically designed to fit well with the Dallas skyline and to reflect the culture of North Texas as a whole. We wanted to create a building that uh, even when you were inside the building in the concourse areas, we wanted to connect the building with the rest of the community, in particular the skyline and the other vistas that you have outside of the facility. The builders of the American Airlines Center used three primary materials in the construction of the facade exterior of the building. One is this Canadian boron brick, the other is this Indiana limestone. The third, which runs around the base, is this Swedish mahogany granite. The exterior architecture of the building really, we focused on creating a really warm environment. The Indiana limestone, which you see here on the base, Swedish mahogany on the very bottom of the structure really ground uh, the exterior of the building. We used a uh, Belden brick, which is an iron spot brick, for the reddish cast that you see to the, to the field area on the building. The Indiana limestone that makes up a portion of the exterior of the building is actually a very important rock in the United States. The rock is often called the nation's building stone because over 80% of the major buildings here in the United States incorporate some form of Indiana limestone. And basically, this limestone was formed when many pieces of sand were washing around on the floor of an ocean and layers of calcium carbonate were wrapping around these things as they rolled back and forth. The extent of this was that back 300 million years ago, in what is now the state of Indiana, the Salem Formation was being formed and this Indiana limestone is what came out of it. It's a very popular stone and it's used not only here at the American Airlines Center, but in other places around Dallas. 